Maximum Mike here. Thanks for tuning in. So, a Netrunner friend of mine told me a story about Songbird. You know the one. The prodigy Netrunner, better than Bart Moss. NUSA's top-tier analyst. She went all the way across the black wall and came back. Alive. You don't just come back from the black wall. Not alive. Anyways, I'm sure you've heard about that big shootout at the Orbital Air Station. We all know it wasn't a corporate war. If you still listen to the news in this day and age, I have three words for you. Wake up, samurai. So, clearly the NUSA was doing some sketchy illegal black op at NCX, and their target? You guessed it, Songbird. You see, Songbird didn't came from the black wall alive. Not really. She came back with a disease in her head, and it was killing her. So she had to get to Luna to see a black clinic ripper doc. But the procedure was very experimental, so she probably didn't make it out alive. But just a couple of days ago, my friend was running through the grid in Dogtown when they picked up a mysterious message. It was sent with the same cryptographic signature as our protagonist, Songbird. And guess what? It was sent to V, the one who helped Songbird escape NCX. So, my friend followed V around to a spot of some significance to Songbird in the past. And there it was a souvenir from Luna, moon dust, and a metal pin from the lunar city of Tycho. So if you ask me, did Songbird make it? Well, I would leave that question to you. And coming right up, a like supreme.